Mike Tyson's life is explored in the new Hulu series, Mike. So let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services just like Hulu. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more up and coming content. The eight episode limited series explores the ups and downs of Tyson's boxing career and personal life from being a beloved global athlete to pariah and back again. Focusing the lens on Mike Tyson, the series examines class in America, race in America, fame and power of media, the wealth divide, the promise of the American dream, and ultimately our own role in shaping Mike's story. The first two episodes of Mike are on Hulu now, and I've watched the first five episodes, and I enjoyed this show for what it was. It's not the best biopic I have seen. It has the right cast and director behind it all. This is from the creator, screenwriter, Steven Rogers, and the teams behind I, Tonya. I, Tonya was directed by Craig Gillespie. Ultimately, it feels similar to it with breaking the fourth wall. When we are introduced to Mike Tyson in the beginning of the film, he is talking to an audience. He's talking about his life. He's breaking that fourth wall. There are a lot of moments in here that does feel like I, Tonya, and that works for this series. The five episodes that I did see cover from when he was younger, going to jail, dealing with uh, family issues, rising to fame, boxing career, his relationships, and the media growing very popular. But all of it feels like it's just clips of his life. In the first episode, we have clips of when he was younger. Each episode is about 30 minutes long, so it all does feel very brief. So we're just getting these clips of him in his life, big parts of his life. That works in some aspect as he is talking to this audience and they're integrating those moments within here as he's talking about his youth and when he first became famous and he and how he handled the fame and the media as well those moments work when you look at how the structure of it is presented when we have Mike Tyson in, I think, the early 2000s. He's talking about these important moments in his life. So when you look at the structure, it does work. But if you wanted a more in-depth story of Mike Tyson's life, I'm not sure if this is going to be it because it's just addressing things that you may have already known about Mike Tyson. His youth when he became popular, a video game that he was in, his rape charges, him biting off a person's ear, everything that's happened will be covered with in this series, but it's all just very brief and just bare. They're not going in depth of all of this, not feeling the emotions of certain scenes and not the impact of Mike Tyson and certain moments that he's in certain moments within his life and how it impacted him it just all feels very brief and that runtime i think contributes to that if it was almost 45 minutes to an hour it would allow for a lot of depth and a chance to really understand this character trevante rhodes from moonlight handles the bulk of mike tyson we have a younger actor playing mike tyson in the teenage years as well but he takes up most of the role of mike tyson he does a great job in here we've seen that change over over the years with Mike Tyson. We had the face tattoo, it seemed like his personality did change a little bit. I like him in here, he handled that personality change very well and as he became more popular, he became more wild and his views on life did change. And I think Trevante Rose handled it all very well. The series does cover a lot from when he was younger and he was in trouble a lot to that wealth divide and family issues and race in America and the media that covers a lot of things that were impactful to his life. Like I said, it just feels very minimum. Like they could have gone deep into these moments. It had the right elements to it to provide a lot of emotional, very personal moments to Mike Tyson but it's just not there. It's just lacking. The performances are good. The series looks great. There's some good boxing sequences, but overall it's a series that tries to take on a lot from young age, from a young age to where he is now, and it tries to cram it all into a series, and it just does not work. 
And on top of that, with Mike Tyson not supporting all of it and some backlash as well, and the motion moments were not there and the dramatic scenes were lacking. I like the direction behind it. Craig Gillespie is a talented director. Trevante Rhodes is good in here. I just felt like it could have been a little more. But it will be a series that I will continue. I'll watch episodes 6, 7, and 8 to finish it off. But the first five episodes felt bare. They were lacking. The acting was good. I just felt like it could have been a little more. So before I give you my score for Mike on Hulu, make sure to check out my channel. Here I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here. So hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and give Mike a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Mike on Hulu. Have you guys seen it? What do you guys think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.